So, next video. One of my security cameras, because um, I have a security camera system here in place so I can keep an eye on things when I'm not around. Um, was playing up nice. The feed was really jittery and distorted and had like ghosting and all sorts of stuff. And I thought that's strange because early in the day it's working absolutely fine. So I pulled this down, and the first thing I noticed is this. See that? That's been melting. Um, and the cable feels stiffer here than it does over here. So that means that this cable is probably shorting out or it's got excessive current. And what I suspect is that the distortion and the ghosting stuff on the screen is because the wires are melted together inside here and maybe trying to shove DC through the video signal. Um, that's my guess. Based on the fact that this is melted means this must be getting hot. So let's pop it apart. Let's have a look. That's easy. Um, Obvious there. So, I mean, this camera's been going. I don't know if it's running, running for probably about two or three years now. I think about this camera. Um, and it's actually the first time I've looked inside it. All the infrared LEDs were lit up, so that part of it is working. What's this board say? Don't know. Is that OK L U R D G? So it looks a bit like. Hmm. Um. Well, I'm not seeing anything obvious. So obviously, this top board here is the actual camera board. There's the camera mounted on the underneath there. You can see it. And that ball there is just for the infrared LEDs and the uh, light sensor, there, which turns them on and off as required. Um, nothing particularly exciting about that part, but obviously this camera has got an issue somewhere because otherwise it wouldn't be doing what it's doing. Let's try and get these out. Try and get them out. Um, tweezers. I sit here for hours talking to myself these days. Of course, I'm recording videos at the time, but uh, I'm actually sitting there talking to myself. <laughs> right. a bit easier. I'll do some measurements on this cable in a minute and just see if there's any shorts. I suspect there probably are. Um, but as far as this goes, let's just zoom in, it might be a bit easier and try and hold it closely. Right. It's actually easy for me to look at this through the screen of the camera, but it's zoomed in, it's to actually look at the board. That's pretty awesome. Right. Um, well, nothing obvious. Hey, there's some tantalums. That's always a good suspect. Missing IC, missing headers. Another missing IC, another missing header. What are those are for? And it's FEO EV1. Okay. Well, I think it's got a Sony FEO sensor in it. It says one third Sony on the bottom. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, well, I'm not really seeing anything on here. Apart from a bit of dust. There is some stuff on the other side. Let's put it apart. Header, header, right, remember that. So I said, my, oh, look at that, it's all loose. That's interesting. 
and it doesn't want to come out. Really? I thought I'll take out the whole assembly. Oh, that's going to be a pain in the ass. I don't want to unscrew the lens. What a stupid design. Is that just a foam there? Hold oh, on. It fell off. Because I'm putting it apart now. Right. All the way apart. Let's zoom that slightly, eh? Yes, it's got like a foam collar around that. So hopefully I won't get that. I should be able to push it out of the foam. Hopefully it'll not come out. There we go. Right. Let's put this bit back together before I forget about it. I see the scratch my head going where these bits come from. Obviously it wasn't very tight in the first place. Not matter because it might be stuffed anyway, but uh, yeah, for now, I'll have to fix things. Give it a go. So, here's the camera module. What's on this one? Zoom back in again. There you go. FEO there. Whole bunch of empty pads. What have we got there? 7 8 L15. Yeah, voltage regulator is worth checking, isn't it? Bit of flux on the board, nice cleaning, people. Um, A7W something. Come here, a last symbol. Might be nothing. Usually A7W, probably a bit. Yeah, diode there, looks like. Sort of tantalum cap. Hmm. There's another of those gates I saw the other day. Anyway, lots of flux. Yeah. Cut transistors. So there's not a huge amount on this board. Not on that side, anyway. Um, these are actually focused by this screws in out. There's a little screw there that's locked in place. This is screwed in just focus if it's out of focus. In case you ever want to know. Um, okay, well, I'm not going to take the whole assembly off because it'll just be an image sensor under there. Ah, what the hell? What the hell? Let's make a video. Now, let's zoom this out a bit more. Too far in again. Take the whole assembly off and show the sensor. Here we go. There's the image sensor. That's the actual camera module. So there you go. How exciting as that is for you. That's about as good as a shot as I'm gonna get on it. So put a bit better together. Don't need dust and crap in there, it'd be bad. Who knows, so I might be able to fix this yet. So I'm not going to destroy it in case I am able to fix it because it could just be a bad tantalum or something. That's you know, quite likely. Which has then overheated the wiring, which has then made it short out and uh, so on and so on. So, let's see, what do I need for this? Obviously when you're doing this sort of thing you need the right tool. Here's the right tool. My other tools. Um, let's see about checking these capacitors out first. That's the first thing I'll do. Don't know if I can find what the fault is, because I might be wasting my time. These things are that expensive to buy. Um, it'd just be nice to fix stuff if I can. Alright, that's working. Actually, I'll show you the show. I? I mean, this may not be so good for in-circuit testing. 
Um, I haven't used it a huge amount yet. But we'll find out, won't we? Fifty-six UF. Mm -hmm. Let's um, change to capacitance, and I want ESR. Not ESR. ESR. Oh, great, someone's home. Can you me? Oh god, isn't that a noise? Alright. Anyway, ignore the noise. There's people coming home, not noticing I'm trying to record a video. So, 0.38. It's a little bit low, but probably not too bad. Let's try that one. Yeah, that's slightly better. Right, so I put it back together. Um, I noticed that when I went to put this screw back in, it just wouldn't do up. It's like the hole is stripped. That might be why it's falling off in the first place and I went to take it apart. Um, the only connection I can find is a short between the cable connections is between the two negatives and that's probably absolutely fine. Um, you know, you kind of expect the negatives to be joined together. Otherwise it's seemed right. So it could actually just be a fault with this. It may not even be this. I'm not even 100% sure it is this. It could be the... the uh, DVR, which is recording, which is the problem. Um, so what I actually want to do is hook up power to this, this the cable here, and just uh, see what the current is. So that'll be the next thing. Right, who does it about supply? As you can see, I've just done a little bodge here. Set to 12 volts, one amp. Channel one, turn it on. See how much current it's drawing. Well, that's only 300 milliamps, which isn't that bad. Um, and that's with that'll be with the LEDs on too, because that's got the um, that was face down, so the light was worse. Um, well, it doesn't seem like excessive current, does it? That seems fine. That current draw doesn't seem too bad. So. It doesn't explain why this looks like it's melted. This here. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. That's interesting. But, uh, oh well, that kind of looks right. If I unplug the actual uh, infrared section, there we go. So 111 milliamps is what the camera itself is using. Uh, yeah, I mean that seems fine, doesn't it? That's not really the high LED section is working, but right. Um, I don't know. Anyway, you see me pull apart, so yeah. I don't know if it's fixed. I don't know if it's working. I don't know if it's even broken. But uh, I don't know. I suppose I could call it a teardown, couldn't I? Yeah, I'll call it a teardown. What the hell? 